Greetings lords and ladies, Kaiser here and welcome to another episode of our Crusader Kings campaign, wait, our Irish campaign in Crusader Kings 2, there we go. So, when last we left off, we, um, we managed to finally declare war on Surix, we got, uh, Surix under the, uh, capable leadership of Eter, Eter, uh, this guy, the usurper. Um, sibling. Okay, so your sibling is your heir. That's fine. Uh, apparently there's no more danger of us losing Somerset either. Which is very, very nice. Who is your... Um... Ah, I see. Okay. So, our dead son's daughter is now our heir. Alright. Uh, also what happened... <laughs> we got maimed in battle. Whoops. <laughs> We're still trying to uh, get the rights for Fotla. Lincoln apparently... Uh, let me see. Northumbrian Holy War for Yorick. Hussian War for Yorick. Cumberland. Huh, so you're still... Mm-hmm. You shouldn't be here. Germans. Wait, is he Norse or German? What is he? Germanic. Yeah. But then again, yeah. Norse or Germanic. Pagan. Alright. So... I've been looking around. There's not much to do for us right now, at least. Like, I'm just checking... Do we... Can we declare war for anything whatsoever? I know that we can... We cannot declare war for that, apparently. Uh, we can declare war for... Yorwick. Claim Middlesex. Where is that? For you, but where is Middlesex? Where is mi- oh, that. Oh, so we can claim it for him. Alright. Or for him. Well, probably for him. I'd prefer that. Or we get Yorwick. A.K.A. York. If we declare that war, how many troops do you have? 3,500. Let's wait a little bit longer for our troops to regain their strength a bit. Get our prestige up. That's always nice. <laughs> He's now legal age. He became an elusive shadow. Alright. Mm, one thing that I was also thinking about doing is getting some retinues. A total of 1680. I was thinking we get one light skirmish retinue, who will always just serve as um, looters for now. Raiders, sorry, not looters, raiders. And the rest we go into heavy infantry, the Gallo Glass retinue. Yeah. To reinforce at maximum speed. Let's do that. It's gonna cost us some money, but at least the retinues will be up fast and actually pay for themselves afterwards. Um, after we create a Gallo Glass, though, we'll, we'll let them wait. So 550 troops will be trained up there. Yep. Cost us quite a bit, but... The sooner they reinforce, the better, because the sooner we can send them just to pillage and raid. Have some fun. As the clear second is sexy and holy war for Yorick. Huh. I was gonna do that, but... I was actually gonna do it for you. Why do you hit me even more now? 
So you just, what, randomly became this ambitious and that's it? No, st stop trying to get my money. You're not getting my money. Uh, getting our prestige to 2000 is definitely a priority right now. So I really, really would not like to achieve the six to fabricate claim. Uh, no plots. Can I make you end plots? I cannot. Who are you again? Huh. I can imprison you if I want to. So you fled to the court, and suddenly this guy took over. That's fine. And the other one... Earl Urgal. Alright. And he doesn't have the money f to set himself free, apparently. Not yet. Maybe soon. Has inherited Daifa tribe from Chief... Sure. Wonderful. He is really doing a good job there. Excellent. Tolerance, Majesty, that... Mm -hmm. Short rain years. Would be very nice. To get rid of that. Sure, let's go for that. And over here... We haven't really been building up at all. Uh, we have a trade port in Ross, don't we? Yep. Does this help in any way? Uh, improved keeps. Keep two castle walls two. Castle walls two are always good. Is always good. What do we actually have here? And what could we have here? We'll convert. We'll convert. We'll convert. We'll convert. Uh, ah, so I also have to upgrade this in order for it to convert. Hmm. Let's wait till we have more prestige, shall we? Uh, but I still think that um, improved keeps or town infrastructure, one of those two, would be very, very nice. Keep. Stables, Castle Town. Castle Town is what brings the most money, so we'll do that. Shipbuilding, we don't really have them. I mean, we really don't have many shipyards. Uh, somehow we got a lot of money. Not sure what happened. Died in the dungeons. Yeah, sorry. I know that sounded terrible. I'm so sorry. I. Damn. I sound like a horrible person. There, um, now please facilitize that. It's the last place that's still Lollard. Uh, Fatla has come to fruition. By broadening, cajoling, extorting, threatening, and forging documents, I have managed to fabricate a claim on the Duchy of Alban. But it's a duchy! I don't need a duchy, I need... I need the actual county. County. But sure. We'll use it. Allah, we propose that this guy marries my courtier. Sure, she's not even my blood, so sure. Have her. Uh, I believe we've regained enough strength to try and do something. We're not going to attack that, because even if I get the duchy, I will not be in direct control of either Fotla or this. You're alone. I can claim Fib in the name of somebody else, but I do not want to do that. Wait, it, it belongs into the county that I want, right? County, yeah, county of Alban and the county of Muireb, which is already created. Those are the two counties I love and want. We have to figure out how to increase the demand size. Wow. Oh, now people like him. God damn it. <laughs> uh, I can increase centralization, but that would decrease my vassal limit. Wouldn't it? 
Yeah. Yeah, it would. So I would actually have to create, like, both of the duchies and give give both of these away and we'd be at 12, which is still too much. Still too much. Hmm. We'll have to go feudal eventually. That's just the bottom line of it. We'll have to go feudal eventually. Uh, before that, I really, really, really want to get some more land, though. Claim Jorvik for him. Lindsay was taken over by them. Can I declare war on you? No. And Middlesex. 3,000 troops. We do not have the prestige to actually raise a tribal levy, should we need to. But we do have enough money to get some mercenaries, should we need to. Holy orders. Eh, not that strong, I guess. But it'd come in handy when we fight, like... Oh, that was taken over. Lovely. So I have to find a way to take that up over. Do you have any claimants of my own blood? <laughs> you do not. And you're in direct control of both of them. Claim Yorwick. Kingdom of France would jump in to help. With its... 2,000 troops. Probably wouldn't bother, really. Uh, Cornwall. Claimants. There is a claimant. But it's a weak claimant. Also weak. Alright. So, nothing there to be gained. Uh, claim this for him. You are not of my blood. Are you my courtier? You are my courtier. Hey, I have daughters. Princess of Australia. This is my daughter. She's 15. You're 43. Huh. I'm thinking if it's even worth it. Like, uh, marrying him matrilineal to, uh, matrilineally to my daughter and attacking that guy. He has a strong claim on that. No, 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 on this, this. No, not Pavis, wait, what? Wait, what did he have the strong claim on? Did I lose the guy that I was trying to? Oh my god. <laughs> Just a sec, guys. Right, 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 right. This is how I got here. Uh, Countess Christina. You're also not of my blood, so that would not... I mean, hmm. You know what, sure. Let's marry you to my daughter. My aunt. 29. Now let's give you her. It's gonna be matrilineal. There. You are now betrothed. Uh, and, um, yeah. We're just gonna declare a war in your name. There we go. Raise our levies. Gather up over there, except for, um, yeah, except for these guys.
So he has about 900 troops. We'll, we'll get through this fairly quickly. Earl of Somerset dead. Why? You want your own... You want to see your husband die. Why? That is the question. Fabricate a claim on the duchy of... Uh-huh. How about you stop that? You do not stop that. Alright, then I'll just lock you away. It's fairly simple, really. You want to listen to me? Or you're locked away. My voice cracked. Uh, yeah, me. Uh, the maimed is just a personal skill. That's just no, 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 no. All right, let's go. Speed him up. And let's go win this war. Quickly. Wait. We jumped the gun there, didn't we? I still need to make him... The Lord of something. What if I give him Ligon? I'm smart. <laughs> I keep forgetting this. If he is not our blood relative, our direct blood relative, I need to make him my vassal before we go do that. Yeah, I mean, I guess Lagan. Yeah. Why is Mudip clan that... Why are we not earning more money here? Tax. 342. Why is that? Interest interesting. Why do we feel like our prestige is falling? Alright, sure. At any rate. Uh, how do I... Defending against King... Yeah. My daughter is married to him. So this is where I find him, and I'm gonna grant you Ligon. There. This way, once we take control of this, it will automatically fall into our land. She became a Grey Eminence. Wow, that's pretty high diplomatic skill. Vassal, wait. To this guy? No, 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 no. You know, you're gonna make a baby now. You are going to make a baby now. With my daughter. <laughs> who does have a fertility bonus. Uh, and he will be your heir. Understood? Understood. Good. 95. One more. That's it. Offer peace. Enforce the man's. There we are. It is now ours. And there's no longer a problem with inheritance. Good. Alright. Stand the troops down. Now let's try and find the next target. The Claire War claim for her. I mean, quite honestly, if we do that, like, sure, she becomes a little bit stronger, but... <laughs> she made him marry matrilineally. <laughs> oh, the beast. Sure, you know what? Let's just do it.
will let us once again gather all our forces here. The more land, the better. Even if they belong to my daughter was born. Okay. As the farmers prepare for sowing their... Alright. For sowing their spring crops, your court chaplain suggests that you bring out the holy relic in procession and bless the fields. Surely this will increase the likelihood of a bountiful harvest this year. Uh... Yeah, sure. It seems my dalliance with Alust has resulted in a child. Fortunately, Patricia and Clemens think the little... thinks little garb is his. I thought it was already out there that she's not his. Uh, can I make you not have a lover anymore? Uh, break up. Yes. Break up with her as well. Stop having lovers, thank you very much. You're already known as an adulterer. Which expires in six years. Let's, let's try not to renew that. Let's try. These guys are... Reinforcing nicely. Alright, troops are here. Let's get the commanders going. Top. Deep. Yep. And let's go. Destroy their army first. What are you? You're a bastard, apparently. Neo the Lecher. Lovely. You're already stressed. Detached Prius, so that's not very good. Uh, is a bastard of my dynasty because of him. <laughs> Why are people seducers? I understand that, you know... Wait. Title can be usurped. Pictland. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Why did that suddenly become mine? No, but I want that. Wait, but I... No, hey, 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 I want that. I want that. You're gonna hate me for it, but I want that. That is something I'm not letting go of. <laughs> He actually likes me, so he's not gonna like the fact that I'm doing this. But, oh well. If he rises up, that's 1,800 men. Uh, do you have any alliances? You have one alliance. That's him. You don't like me, if I remember correctly. And I was actually thinking about pressing your claim. First, handle this. Mm, are you feudal? No, you're tribal. And you do have the prestige to actually call upon tribal warriors. So it's not gonna be an easy walk in the park. I'm still gonna do it. Wait. Why can I no longer do it? He gave the land to somebody. And it'll go to him. High Chief of Gwynedd. Why? Okay, so he already stopped. Pictish populace in Ross has become Irish. Good. Marriage. Uh, oh, he came of age, so yeah, of course. I want that. <laughs> How can I get it? If 
If I kill him... He's a bastard of my dynasty. He gave land to a possessed person. You buffoon. I'll find a way to get it. Sir, go. What's going on here? Inheritance warning. Uh, was sexy and revolt. Why is there a revolt going on? Oh, oh ho ho! Sweden is hidden back. Take that. Ah, we're on a hundred. Offer peace, enforce demands. There we go. Now both those lands are ours. Huh. Stand down the troops. And uh, try to figure out how to, one, get that piece of land for us. And two, slowly start planning another attack on Sweden, I believe. Or, you know, just attack Yorick. I mean, uh, attack Mercia for Middlesex and Suffolk, but he's probably still... Yep, he's still allied with France. France would be a pain to have to deal with. Though with this amount of troops, not really. Can I just take Northumbria? Nope. Yorick, Leicester, for the entirety of Mercia, or just Middlesex? He's eight. If we did that, if we actually declared war for the entirety of Mercia, have him marry one of our daughters. She's 10. She's 11. You're married. You're betrothed. I can legit just... She's slow. Alright, no then. Yeah, this 11 year old would be married to him. Matrilineally, of course. We have to act fast because the kid is 14 once he is 16 aka once he comes of age we can no longer press a weak claim all right i think we're gonna declare war for mercia in the next episode if we manage to take over mercia right now we are at 67 percent if I remember correctly, I'm not gonna do the math again right now, but I remember if I remember correctly, we need 54 uh, land, I mean provinces, in order to create the Empire of Britannia. That means nine more. If we were to take over Mercia, I would legit give the guy Dublin just in order to control all of this. But that's one, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven additional pieces of land for us. Afterwards, all we would need. Wait, uh. Da -da 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 -da. 
Scepter. Alright, so this does not count into the Empire of Britannia. Alright. After that, so that's seven. I could probably attack Sweden once again for... Well, first for one piece of land, then for another one, and that would be nine. We would be at 54, and we will finally be able to create the Empire, uh, the Empire of Britannia. We will finally be able to become Emperor. Is she too old to have a child? What's going on? Can we take another concubine? Like a young one? One that might actually... Marry a ruler. She hates us. Oh, we really kind of sort of need a son. Or we just abandon that and pick something else. Oh, have a son is the only ambition we can have. Lovely. Alright. He hates us. But hopefully he'll be happy once he becomes the Emperor. <laughs> At any rate, guys, thank you very much for joining me. I have been Kaiser. I will see you guys next time. And until then, as always, Ad Gloriam.